So I'm here to do your daily, the weekly reading. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we're going to do Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't apply to you, don't make it fit. If it does, then maybe there will be something that you can take out of this. So this is going to be for March 18th, which today is the 19th, but that's okay. This is still intended from March 19th, uh, 18th to the 22nd. 24th, I believe. So let's see what's going on. So we're going to give you two cards from the Fairy Oracle to see what is their special message for you. And let's see. First off, before I pull those cards, <laughs> I got the hiccups. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, geez. Okay. So that's what happens when you eat a little piece of steak fajita. Alrighty. <clears throat> That's just like way too many cards, so we're not going to pull them all. But let's see, what message is there for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let me move my camera out of the, my computer out of the way. So, do, 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 Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Oh yeah, the moon is in your sign today, by the way, so that might have you really up in your emotions well not emotions but you may not be you know expressing logical I mean not uh, let me get that right you may not be expressing emotions emotionally but logically you may be thinking about things and maybe being a little distant and hopefully not being too harsh on people that's what I got to say about that and that's the only plant that's affecting you the rest of your life is what affects you too right so what is it that is the fairies wanting to say for you. And we have, boom, the guardian of the gate. So this looks like there's an opening. Maybe you're transforming. Maybe you're like proceeding, uplifting to another level. This is like a beginning. Something is now finally coming to completion and you're starting to get up to this like metaphorical gate and wanting to go past it to to go to another level of a part of your life. That is what we have here. So there's been some lessons having to be learned and there's um, maybe getting together with other people, other ideas and stuff like that, creating something so you can go to another level. And then we have Tiff or Taff, Flap the Fluter. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny, right? This is Flap the Fluter. This is a looks like a challenge that you're dealing with this is your challenge is going to be about being real being grounding and maybe centering yourself maybe this new beginning that you're starting to go through it's probably pretty exciting and you're probably like maybe maybe trying to like really try to hold it all together like maybe too excited it's like wow what do i do what do i do what do i do and then we have the feline <clears throat> so maybe you're trying to <laughs> maybe sneak off like oh, wait hold on uh, gotta do about face I can't do it yet you're maybe trying to run from this new gate opening that's opening up for you and maybe wanting to go back and like tidy up some loose ends or something maybe there's something maybe you're not really wanting to go up there you're being cautious it's like <clears throat> <clears throat> oh wait, hold on. I stubbed my toe. I can't go there yet. I can't go through that gate yet. I need to go do something else. I need to go take care of this. It's like there's a little bit of anxiety I feel for this new beginning that you're trans you're going through this new doorway. You know, like you open a door in your mind and it's like boom, there you are, and you're avoiding it. <laughs> it's like huh, I'm taking my time. Is it it might be too good to be true. Maybe this is something you you might be like, wow gosh, is it, is, am I really ready for this? I got to go make sure that I, whatever, before I go do this, I got to go make sure that um, <clears throat> I have what I need before I go there. <laughs> Can I sneak away? Do I really have to do this? Oh gosh, I have to. It's like your avoidance big time. Here I go again, explaining myself on these cards. Oh gosh, but this is just like, no, I'm, you're just really trying to avoid that. So this is challenging. Wow, it's amazing that this is, there's like two challenges and I believe that I got this 
<clears throat> for some sign the other signs too having some challenges going through challenges but this is like a new door open and you're like well wait a minute it's sitting back down and saying ah, I, don't know, I don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know so let's see what else is going on we'll leave that there for you to look at while i do your reading for you so there's your new gate this is bright brand new energy it's healing it's awesome it's freaking you open the door you learn some stuff that you needed to you're creating something but now you're hesitant and then this is like well wait i got to make sure before i go through that gate everything is done everything is done or am i running from my problems am i running from going through that gate am i trying to sneak back I don't want to go. I'm, I need some help here to go through that gate. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on with you as far as home, as far as your emotional personality, what's going on there for you in the home and emotions. Like what is it that you're feeling at the moment besides the fact that you're keeping it to yourself. Maybe you're not even, this is like kind of taking your own little time out really evaluating and thinking things out before you go through this new doorway. <laughs> I'm totally unsure, do I really go? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Overthinking something, maybe? Hmm. Maybe not going really sure you have everything you need. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I'm getting is that maybe you're, my, you're making sure, maybe you're thinking, okay, well, maybe I'll just go make sure that I do have in order before I go through that door. <laughs> Am I prepared? I have to have all the knowledge that I need. Flip the flutter. <laughs> so your challenge with flip the flutter is centering yourself, being able to be really grounded while you go through this transformation, basically. And then the other challenge would be decision making or getting it right and tidying it tidying up loose ends, getting it right, maybe delaying your completion, delaying something on purpose because you need to center before you go through this new gate. The guardians of the gate. So those are passages to new life, openings, and gatekeeping. So let's see what's going on as far as What's going on in your emotions this week? We have really standing up for yourself. So there might be some conflict regarding things that you're defensive about that you want to feel confident about. And it's like, it's gonna have an effect on the emotions. It's gonna, you know, put some fire in there. <laughs> you know, like, wow, whatever I'm standing up for, I am bound and determined to get my way. It's gonna cause conflict and with the emotions Maybe around other people, you may be really over passionate about things and really standing your ground. And <clears throat> how is it that your freedom needs are being met? This is something that would actually be able to ground you, hopefully, to make you feel a centering. You know, right now it's like having earth energy, which you have earth energy, but this is wanting to express your freedom, and we have. The devil card, so this is recognizing a false truth. Maybe this is <laughs> you just like wanting to express how you can see through the bullshit. You're wanting to see, cut ties to addictions and stuff. Maybe you want to express your need to not be chained and bound to other people and really standing yourself up here. So what are you communicating to other people then? Your perception and it's love, it's like partnerships making choices. So you're communicating about the choices that you wanna make regarding a relationship, about a partnership, about love maybe, or just making choices that um, are compromising within a relationship or a partnership. So that's about that and love is right here. So we'll get to there. What is it that you feel compassionate about? What is it in your idealism and enlightenment? And we have for you, Virgo, we have, you're feeling really compassionate. There's that three, boom, right here. What I say, there's the three right there too. Tr creating something 
this is creating something that is totally passionate. You have compassion for the things that you create because look at that. This is the wand energy. This is the fire in you. It's like something that you've built, you've created, you're waiting for um, your ships to basically come in and you're letting other people know because this is like letting that bird off to go tell the world about your ideas. That's and having compassion, understanding that things take time to come back. You know, if you're sending this hawk off to go send out a message about a creation or a project that you're inspired about, then that hawk is going to take, it's going to do its little flight, but it's also going to come back with an answer for you or some type of message being sent back that's like in old days, you know. But this is taking, you understand that there is going to take time for answers to come back that may be where your enlightenment is or that you have a compassion about it's a compassion about the things that you create and knowing that you have to wait for the things to come back this is waiting for your ships to come in merging your ideas and as far as a relationship goes your romantic entrance we have coming out of conflict with other people this is losing the passion to fight with other people <laughs> no this is reevaluating in something within a relationship and losing, just coming out of conflict. There's been change in a relationship. There may have been some fighting or whatnot going on and stuff like that. And it's like now you're seeing that somebody may have instigated it because there's like other people involved in this relationship besides just you and one other person. It's a whole mess of people. So there may have been a group of people involved in your romantic inclinations and uh, <laughs> you're not attracted to that no more. You're coming out of that, dis you're either recognizing that or you're coming out of that disagreement. But here you're communicating to your partner about sharing, you know, starting something together, planning something together, and you're really defensive about it, really feeling some conflict because of this right here. You know, there have been some disagreements in a relationship because of other people, and it's like you're seeing that. So now you're trying to reconcile with your partner about what you guys want to share together, what you guys want to build and create, making choices together, no longer feeling addicted or attached to other people. These other people right here is like, get rid of those addictions, get rid of the, the toxic people. Even though you feel compassionate about those people, it's like, yeah, this is more, this is more of what you want to stand up for. And how are you expressing yourself? Bam! We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So this is showing to others that you are just <laughs> not really going to put up with the bullshit. You're not really expressing any emotion whatsoever. You're, you may be actually expressing, showing to the world that you just don't have any patience <laughs> for bullshit. I'm just going to say it as I see it. You don't have patience to deal with um, the emotional, bad emotions from other people. Like you are just lost your patience there as you're showing it. <laughs> oh boy, that's pretty woohoo, right? You're standing your ground about it. You've evaluated what you do love and you're working on that instead. F on the group of people that have caused disruption for you. It's like here you're like, if this were upright where I'm looking at it, it'd be like you looking over there, feeling, trying to get some type of understanding, trying to use your intuition. Now you've used your intuition, so you're reevaluating what you've witnessed over here. See, and this is how you're expressing, <laughs> not a happy camper, really? Okay. So as far as your inner drive, what's driving you, we have, bam, wanting to take rulership, ownership over a lot of things, wanting to control your environment, control your home, your lot, your belongings, your possessions, wanting to have complete control and also be able to hopefully share with other people. Now we're going to find out what else is going on Mars with Mars. The challenges are for you to seek inner enlightenment. So here, you know, your inner drive, these two actually have an effect today too, like in um, 
what changes are coming from within. So maybe you're seeking what it is that you can control. Maybe you're having an enlightenment moment about what you can control. You're going within. It's a challenge though to see once you go within to really see what you do have control over and what you don't and wanting to have the control over the things you don't have. And um, maybe one of those things might be, you know, regarding a relationship, there might be a loss of control in your relationship and maybe that might be something that you may feel a bit challenged about, but also see a light to mint in how to fix it. And I think that that's already been found out. And then also this is like, this has been some pretty much um, coming on to strong people. Other people's opinions have been really there, and so now you're looking within. The challenge is, is to see that who's the one that's been coming on too strong, trying to push conflict into your life, and maybe just cut them out, remove them from the picture for a time being, because they don't really need to be there take control you're wanting that's your inner drive to take control back over your home your security your stability your money your everything and what do you value right now right now you don't value taking any risk that are unnecessary this is the full in reverse so this is looking at everything and making sure that whatever you're doing is not risky it's not risk taking it's not going to mess this up especially since you're sitting here over here trying to you know get your partner to to see it your way and trying to reconcile and make things right with your partner so yeah standing your gun so let's see and i just looked up at my screen thinking i was doing this live what the heck <laughs> and as far as limitations if this is something there's some problem solving going on this week that you get to look at and it's going to be about how you take back your power on things especially communication there's needing maybe there's been um, some problems with how you're dealing with some changes the mental changes the communication and changes overbearing maybe um, it depends on what you how you see this card but this is like really thinking now because you're feeling limited about other people causing this conflict and this is you taking back your power but how are you how are you you're trying to figure out how to take your power back <clears throat> so you're communicating with your partner let's make some choices here we need to problem solve this situation especially since this is a lot of conflict and this right here and this together this venus and mars this is like i see the enlightenment even though it's been a challenge to really see who's been the problem maker in um, our relationship, these other people, because there's a lot of people. And I'm going to stand my ground about this. You know, this is a problem, is not being able to take back the power over conflict, not being able to have the right kind of communication to dissolve conflict. And here I'm trying to figure out how do I choose, how do I deal with this? How do I prevent any more of this conflict here so this is both in reverse because it looks like you're reevaluating and trying to and kind of pissed off too about that now as far as this is a new one the north node this is like okay there's new experiences new qualities coming into being this week some unknown if this is for you you'll know but um, this would be something that maybe you have not experienced yet in your lifetime or maybe it's a new way to experience something and it has to do with having victory where you're inspired to do things where you want to go what you want to do with your life this is you having the drive the the oh, what is the word having the drive to keep going and having other people support you and how to get them to be supportive of you how to get them to say hey we love what you do we want to help you we want to go with you we do, 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 do. you know this is going to be a new experience having a victory over something it's a new quality too how are you going to deal with having a victory are you going to take it with compassion are you going to be compassionate about creating things with other people especially when they they, they they support you 
and this is going to be something maybe unknown to you about having a victory in something you just didn't see coming not really wanting to take risk though <laughs> look at that it's like oh i'm not really looking forward to taking any risk i gotta reevaluate everything i'm gonna stand my ground right this is like wanting to stand the ground because you're driven to have control and you're seeking enlightenment which is a challenge because you want that control you want to take charge of your own life but you need to learn how to stand up for yourself and how to resolve conflict with other people regarding words and maybe even kind of like or a, I don't know what kind of like bad energy like getting without resolve conflict without um making other people offensive because this is trying to get other people you're seeing how people have been offensive and have tried to cause some problems and it's like well how do i resolve this now so if you get back maybe getting in communication with your partner about this stuff you're able to both come to a, a pretty solid stance together and say hey this is what we're going to do this is how we're going to be confident maybe getting your partner on board with a decision about taking over, taking back your guys' power in your own relationship so you can feel confident in the love that you have for this person and no longer have to deal with these people being so opposing to what you have, what you have going together. So there you are, Virgo. Enjoy your reading. I hope that you like this. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow on my lives. Thanks for watching.